Hello and welcome back to another Roaring Records tutorial. If you joined us for the previous video, we talked about panning and that's the ability to actually position things in our headphones either on the left side or the right side or um, in the middle and the ways, different ways that we can use panning techniques to make a song sound more full. In this video, we're going to find out how to make things actually move around in the panning. So from left to right when we're using Soundtrap. So uh, Soundtrap's a cool tool, and this process is called automating. So today we're going to talk about how to add automations. We're going to look at both panning and volume automations, which are pretty cool. So if you recall, if you click on the little guitar icon, you can check and see where your panning is set. So whether this is set to the left or the right. Right now, it should be a little bit on the right side, um, as opposed to the drum set, which is currently set to a little bit on the left. And that would sound something like this. So we actually want to make these two things move, volume and pan. So um, to be able to do that, we're going to use this little icon right here. This is the automation menu. So if you click on that, it will bring up a box that says plus automation, or you could think of that as add an automation. So we're going to click right there. And to start with, we're going to choose pan. So up is to the right. So this is panned to the right side, whereas down on this little graph is to the left. So the first thing you want to do generally is add a dot by clicking, simply left click, and then I'm going to pull it all the way to the beginning. So that's going to be a starting point, an anchor, if you will. So every dot that you add is an anchor point, and the pan will actually move between the dots. So I'm going to add another anchor point right here at measure number two, and I'm going to drag it down. So as this guitar plays, it's going to move from the right side of my headphones over to the left. Uh, I can do the same thing here for the drums, except I'm going to add my dot to the beginning, and then I'm going to make it move from the left side to the right. So here we go. Let's hear that first. So you actually heard those two instruments switch places. It's almost like I took and turned my head around if I was listening to a drummer and um, a guitarist behind me. But you can make more sounds happen, more things, maybe bring them back to the center. And then maybe at this point, we actually want to make things happen like super fast and make them split. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in a lot right there on that point. So I see very close to where I'm at. And I'm going to back that up just a little bit, and then we're going to go all the way down. I'm going to put a dot there, and then go all the way up. So it makes an almost instantaneous switch in the pan. So here we go. Here's that uh, same little progression with a lot of panning automation. <laughs> So those are just different things that you could do with automated panning. Now, the same effect happens for volume. So you can go in and also add a secondary automation on volume for each channel. And this is just like controlling the volume knob right here. We can make the volume increase. Remember, I always like to add an anchor at the front and then click and add another anchor. We can make the volume decrease. We can do the quick spikes if you wanted to. Take the volume away really fast. Now you can't do it a quick spike when you're zoomed out. So you have to zoom in so that your snap to grid tool will free you up. Um, you can actually undo that snap to grid tool and, and be able to get it a little closer to what you want. That allows you freedom to go wherever you want, which is nice. And you can turn it back on when you're done. So here we go. A nice little volume automated panned uh, different track. And it would sound something like this. <laughs> now. 
Now you consider these creative tools, use them as a way to add expression to your song. That's all automations are as a way to add more expression to your song. Um, if you enjoyed this and found it helpful, hit the like button and subscribe below. Thank you.